All right, so we first. The first. So, the first thing we need to do is we need to grab a very important item that will help us make a weapon that will be very vital to the rest of the game. So. Oh, shell shot toaster. Let's out, go. Awesome. Yeah, when we when we take out these first two tanks, uh, and yes, we can kill the third bots too. That's fine. Uh, there is a, a sub gate. Uh, over there, I believe. If you just go straight, there should be one. And in there is something very, very useful. <laughs> that was the original thumbnail, but then we used it for the sequel instead. <laughs> Alright, so give me one second. I, I actually have to... Turn down. There we go. Right. The game was blasting in my ear, so now I can actually hear you. Right, that's fair. Alright, so we have a thing we need to do to get a special weapon? Yes. Uh, if we, after we destroy these two tanks, there should be a dome over to the right, and in there is a very useful item. Oh, yep, there it is. Alright, that should be subgate 3, if I recall correctly. Okay, so we're not doing that boss fight first then? No, we would, we, this this is definitely more important to do first, and then after after we find this item, we, we'll, we should get to go for the boss. Because this item especially will shred that boss's HP like it's cheese. Oh, you love to see it. Yep. All right. Oh, you love to see. Well, that's that. useful. Let's keep it going. Oh, open please. Right. I will say oh. the, the item we are looking for is called the Cannon Kit. Cannon Kit. You got it. Yep. It's trapped box! Uh-oh. Uh -oh. No money is good. Money. And no damage. You love to see it. Yeah. Ball on the wall. Is there anything inside? Refractor. That's Yo, 1500? Let's Whoa. go. That's like 2,000 zenny in the span of what? First five minutes? That's pretty impressive. It's it's actually, it's it's over 3,000 because... Oh yeah, that, true, because it was 17, yeah. Yeah, so the, doing pretty good so far. Speaking of speaking of doing good, how's everyone else doing? How, yeah, how are you doing today, 112? What's going on? Uh, I'm doing all right. Mostly just did work for the majority of the day, so it's nice to now enjoy Mega Man Legends the rest Yo. of the evening. Yo, for sure. Doing fine. Just chilling. Hell yeah. You love to hear it. Luckily, I had a really quiet day at work today, so it was... Ah, oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's... Oh. All right. Let's watch the Flaming Yashichis. Is that their name? I don't know if that's... Oh, the pinwheels? Name. Yes. So, the, the Yashichi is an item from the first Mega Man game. Wait, that is that that refill... spin blade thing? Yep, that's it. It's, it's an item that in the first game would heal all of your health and weapon energy to full, but there's only one. It's in the it's in the fourth Wily stage. But the reason that keeps appearing in various Capcom games is because it actually appeared in the very first Capcom game, Vulgus, as an enemy. Oh, gotcha. So it's not like a running gag, but it's like a thing they do every so often. Yeah, exactly. It They, they keep having it reappear in various capacities in, in in various Capcom games. Nice. Uh, That's cute. I love that. Yeah, it's, it's a really cool nod to their origins. Like, even though Vulgus doesn't really get that much attention because it's kind of a generic shoot em up, it's still a good game. And yeah. Uh, yeah. nice that it still gets the, you know, nod every once in a while. That's uh, it, that's play, the game. On, uh, uh, that's the yeah. game they, uh, they reference in MVC3 where Deadpool asks for a sequel to that, right? Yes, that's the one. Okay, gotcha. And it's actually on the, um, it's on modern platforms, because if it's on uh, Capcom Arcade Stadium. So you can get it for like $2 if you want to experience it. Cannon and there you kit. go. There's the cannon kit. So we can exit the dungeon now. There's not really much more here. Oh, uh, there's not like, maybe well, there's got to be like money or something, right? Like. Uh, oh. I think there's a few more areas for like item, for like money, but there's nothing, there's no other items here. Okay, so nothing huge, just more zenny. Yeah, and we already got over three thousand. So, uh, uh, Fizzywig, this 
Oh, you want to go, or do you want me to explain? Uh, no, go for it. Go for it. What's up? Okay. Uh, Fizzywig asks, what consoles is this game on? Well, it originally released on the PlayStation 1. It later got ported to the Nintendo 64 as Mega Man 64. And it was then re-released twice on the PlayStation Portable and the PlayStation 3 via the PSN. Unfortunately, the PS3 is basically the most modern way to play the game. So if you want to play it right now, besides emulating it, yeah, you, you do have to play it on the PS3. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm uh, I'm playing this via emulation, but I do own it on PS3, uh, so that's why I don't really feel bad about emulating it. Cause yeah. I I have my PS3, I can pull it out of a, the fucking drawer that I have it in. But that you know, capturing a PS3 is just so much work, and then finding a you might be shocked to find out really hard to find a charging cable for the controller for that. <laughs> like <laughs> so, like oh, I, I have also, I have the cable for it. I just PC. I forgot about that. Wait, what? There, there's a very old Windows port. I completely forgot about that until just now. But it's not very good, so avoid it. Oh, okay, gotcha. I was about to say, I was like, what the fuck? Put that on Steam. No, 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 What's it's going not on, on Steam. <laughs> it's, like a, it's, like a, it's like a 2000 era Windows game. So most PCs right now cannot run it. Oh, uh, that's fair. Oh, well, actually, that's a good comparison. Castlevania 64, because it's the same era of gaming. Just different well not really different console we're talking Mega Man 64 but same era yeah and that's the thing uh, I, I am emulating it so I do have this thing running at uh, 1080p right now so this game looks a lot nicer than it would on say a PS3 or PlayStation 1 uh, so yeah. it, it, it looks really nice but yeah the art style should be very reminiscent of that era since it is of that era <laughs> Oh, before we go into the next room, we should probably go to, uh, we should call the van and, and make some stuff. Oh, okay, sure. Uh, recharge energy. All right, save. Oh. <laughs> I feel like yeah. the game crashes every time I do this. <laughs> I know, right? Look at the monkey. Um, Good monkey. Data. Alright, so now, uh, actually, you know what, real quick, I should equip, yeah, <laughs> I should re-equip yeah. that, I, I unequipped it just to mess with the serve bot. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, wait, uh, what is, oh, no, no, wrong, uh, no? Uh, walkie. Yeah. I'm sorry, Mega Man, I can't get there in the support car. Oh, that's... You should be able to... Hmm, hold on a second. Yeah, you should be able to return to roll before you enter that room. Maybe go back to a previous area real quick, because you should be able to do that. Maybe there's too many enemies around. That could be it. Hmm. Well, that's all of them now, so... Sorry. Okay, this is this is weird because you should be able. I mean, you might have to walk all the way back, sadly. But it trust me, you do want to do that before entering the next like area because huh. it is use. It's useful to grab the next special weapon before. You. AI, what is that? All right, let's see if it uh, if it works out here. Nope. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, Skull Kid Tiger. Oi, what's going on? I wonder if there's like uh, I I really doubt it because this is like such a specific ask, but I wonder if there's like a map that tells you where you can and can't call the support car. Yeah, I'm trying to find it at the moment. Or maybe there's just a guide that straight up tells you? I'm not sure. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, y'all see that low poly tank? Yeah. Well, you know, if if anything, I at least got a little a couple extra refractors out of it, so no biggie. True. <laughs> right, well, you definitely should be able to use it in here. Yeah, for sure. Oh, by the way, everyone, how's the uh, audio levels? Can you hear? Okay. Um, I just I I I want to check that, and I because I'm like I was listening back to the VOD on the other one, and I think the game was just a little too quiet. So. All right, hey, man. I'll see you soon. Yeah. Alright, so the things we are going to want to create are... Well, first, we should talk to her because we got the flower earlier in the last part. Uh... There should be an option that says talk to her. Yeah, that, that's... It pulled up another menu of different things you can talk about. And huh. none of them were flower-related? That's true. I hope we... Nobody didn't miss that. We shouldn't have. Oh boy, this is Ocarina of Time levels of slow text. Come on now. Yeah. Um, well, I guess first, uh, you should be able to develop a special weapon from the cannon kit. Uh, item development. Yeah. Let's see, take a look. Ta-da! So yeah, there we go, kit. the powered buster. This thing is very useful. Long range, yeah, long... pretty good punch. Oh, the rate of fire isn't great. Too rate. Okay. And yeah, you also have this the helmet and the safety helmet. Oh, yo, no more knockdown as easily. That's good. Yep. Wait, is there fall damage in this game? I don't think so. The way she makes it I... sound like. The way she makes it sound like she's like, oh, if you get thrown off a cliff, it won't deal damage to you. And it's like, would it deal it anyway? Question mark. <laughs> I, I, I think she's just saying if you get shot off by a tank, it won't give you that much knockback to, like, throw you off the cliff in the first place. I think is what it's trying to say. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, when I, when, when I talk to her, it's only about... Okay, um... Oh, that's because the flower is actually right near the portal, so we didn't we didn't get it. That's my bad. Oh, okay, that's we fine. Can, well, we, we can, can do get it that later. We, then. Yeah, we can get that later. That's fine. Well, we should on our way back. We can grab the flower, and then the next time we go to roll, we'll just talk to her and give her the flower. So no big deal. But yeah, it was very very helpful to get that because the helmet and powered buster are very good in this game. Oh, for sure, for sure. The, the, as I mentioned earlier, the Powered Buster especially absolutely shreds the next boss fight. Uh, oh, not spe Well, special item. Equip. Oh! I never equipped the jacket. Oops. Oh, well, now we know. That, well, that explains a lot. Yeah. Equ oh, you need to... You need to leave the... Yeah, there you go. Okay. Special weapons cannot be equipped. You need to, I think you need to leave the uh, car to do that. Or. Okay. Or maybe you do it in the car. Oh, you do it in the car. You're right. I'm sorry. That's kind of obnoxious. Okay. Change special Yeah, it is a little bit of a weird change, but yeah, there you go. Jesus. <laughs> yep. We should try improving that if possible, because it's very good. What's interesting is its starting stats are pretty awful. Like, its attack and range are the same as Machine Buster. But the Machine Buster has also been upgraded already, you know? Right. So, let's enhance. What are we looking at here? Uh, attack, energy, range, and then those last two we can't do. So... Skull Kid Tiger never seen this game. It's uh, basically like a 3D adventure game a la Zelda. Uh, but it's yeah. Mega Man. Uh, probably attack for now, because everything else is pretty decent. Oh, also, I mean, you know, I got the money for it. I could probably just do a little bit of everything. Sure, yeah, that works. Oh. 
power to be good. Yeah, I, I now this thing's gonna tear shit apart. Yeah. I don't really need range, cause like, I feel nah. like I'm, I'm gonna be so close anyway, it doesn't matter. Exactly. Alright. Leave. Alright. No talking to monkey. No monk. Alright, now if we head back over to that other place, we should be good to- Oh, watch the cart! <laughs> this oh, time I those, watched out. <laughs> those do hurt you. <laughs> yeah, I know. Last time I got hit by at least yeah. four or five of them. Oh my god! I know, right? Look at this thing! Holy shit! Ooh, it hits! Can I fry okay. that serve bot? Do I get in trouble for that? Uh, up to you. Uh, that doesn't sound like a yes, so I'll skip it for now. <laughs> <laughs> Two hit kill on these tanks, and then on the boss battle? Oh! Oh, man. oh, to be fair, they do hurt you pretty hard. Alright, you're getting the Don't fuck worry. out of there. Don't worry, data's over by the, uh, the, right before the boss, so you'll be able to heal your health again. Just don't die before then. Wait, is this one-shotting? Uh, it should be two shot at this point. Yeah, it's two shot. There you go. Get some extra refractors out of this. Take all the health I can get. <laughs> yep. Alright, and then yeah, before we head into the boss, let's just make yeah. sure we grab the... Flower. If if I shoot from a far enough distance, it it kills him in one hit. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, because the, the power does increase as it um goes along. So yeah, that makes sense. Oh, there's monk. Yep. Yeah. Small monk. Looks like the pirates are digging a big hole or something on the other side of this passage. Be careful. Don't tell me what to do. Yep. Yeah. Well, he's telling you there's a boss fight ahead, which is actually pretty nice. Right. Mildly useful. But I'm my own Mega Man. This is my Ooh, legend. And, it's, and especially now that we have the <laughs> really OP Powered Buster, I mean. Right. Alright, and yeah, before we go in, before we go in there, um, oh. oh, okay. No, it's okay. Hey, we, we can go back later. I just wanted to try and grab the flower, but I don't think it even does that much. Just like oh wait, I can I can just go back. Hang on. Oh okay, then yeah. I was about to say I was like, oh. <laughs> I can't I, I can't imagine they would just like let me not go back. So what am I looking for? Uh, back towards the sub gate over there. Uh, there should be a flower. Oh that one. I think so. Should be that one. Okay, yeah, there you go. So yeah, we we can go <sighs> back to roll later. Oh, uh, watch the tank. Yeah, the, the next time we go to roll, we can just get that there. It's fun. Oh, what was? You get this. Don't get killed. I'll do what I want. Uh-oh. Volnut died <laughs> and the entire world collapsed. Feels bad. It feels great. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> All right. We're ready and for if the any boss. If, if anyone's upset that I save too much, you can never save enough. <laughs> True. And Although especially, I, well, no, go ahead. I, I, I do wish this game had the same save system as Resident Evil 8, which is the world's fastest save system. Oh, yeah, I saw that. That's crazy. And actually, speaking of Resident Evil, there is one game where you can save too much, and that's the original Resident Evil, because if you save too many <laughs> times, you're ink you know? That's true. I forgot about that. Is there a particular reason I triple saved? I, <laughs> I, I, I was just, I just clicked on the menu. And I was like, yeah, I need to save. <laughs> the good news is that every Mega Man game is very forgiving. You never get sent back more than like five minutes at maximum. I guess sometimes, like depending on like my frame rate, the the <laughs> the explosion hits twice. I guess. Could be. That, that could be a side effect of uh, increasing the frame rate, that makes sense. 
Because I remember at this point I was two shotting most of the tanks with the uh, Power Buster. Yeah, because sometimes it takes two and then other times it just one, so. Oh, what do you have to say, Tiesel? Everyone, quit digging. Our priority now is to get rid of our little blue friend, all right? Be careful and don't be fooled by his size. He's already beaten Bon and Fraud. Let's do it. Oh. Fox fight versus Mara Wolf. Outer shells heavily armored, but the uh, that hair, number one, yeah. <laughs> Tiesel has a wild ass okay. hair. Try to slow right, it so down. Okay. The, as soon as you begin the battle, try running forward so you dodge the lasers. And you, what you want to do is you want to try to shoot the treads on the bottom of the Morrow Wolf tank. Oh. I recommend using the Buster, like a regular Buster, for this part so you can save the Powered Buster for the end. Oh, that, oh there we go. Yeah. All right. When the thing starts to smoke, which should be in a little bit after a couple hits, uh, you, you want to climb back up onto the ledges, and then the tank will kind of like roll towards you, and you'll be able to jump on it. So when that happens, literally just shoot the thing with the power buster and, until it dies, and it will die very fast. Can't go up there. Uh, can't be able to get back up to a higher ledge. There's probably another ledge I can get to. Yeah, should be one towards the start of the area. Oh, there you go. Oh. Oh. No! Take out this tank and then wait until it gets a little bit close. All right. At this point, if you jump, if you wait till it rolls towards you, you should be able to jump on its back and then. Oh, oh. close, close. All right, I got this. I got this. Yeah. And then the power buster will just rip it a new one. When the hatch opens. <laughs> now! Jesus! Yep. <laughs> there you go. Oh! Oh! The explosion knocked me off! It's alright. One more oh. to do it. Uh oh! If I don't die on my way back up. Oh. Can't see. Hello, camera. Ah, camera. No. What is the button to reorient the camera? Oh, I forgot off the top of my head. Uh, triangle, I guess, or the equivalent? Oh. Nope, that's not it. All right, I circle. kind of forgot. Oh, it's circle. Okay. Got, Got him. It. Got him. Put out the fire. Put it out. Oh, watch the bombs. I can't believe this. No way. <laughs> oh, watch out. He's up to something. <laughs> oh, no. He's so sad. 
Wow, we did just blow up his tank. Fair. <laughs> this poor guy, look at him. <laughs> He's so really distraught. Really <laughs> I need. I need a screenshot of him like sitting down there, and it just says "man," <laughs> like the like that horse meme. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll come back after the stream and grab that. That's a that's great. Time to go home. Mission complete. Well, maybe not for Diesel, but for us. Well, <laughs> he's completely distraught. I'll tell you that. <laughs> True. <laughs> Skull right. Tiger feels bad, man. <laughs> yep. Megan, All right. Can you hear me? Yes. There's something real important she has to talk with you about. Can you come back, dear? I'll do my best. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. You say so no. <laughs> Roger. I'll head back to City Hall. Oh, I wonder if that's like a quick teleport. Like, if I, I say so. no, he'll be like, hang on, I'll be there eventually, or something. Yeah. Or it could be a butt now must. Yeah, but thou must. <laughs> if only we'd known there was someone like him here in the first place. We won't fail to give up. We'll ambush him. Concentrate our firepower on him. <laughs> we won't cut him any slack just because we outnumber him. That kid's going down. Just wait till you see, Diesel. I've got a new robot I've been wanting to build that'll do the trick. That'll teach him. This time, <laughs> we get rid of Blue Boy for sure. Get that pressure! Oh my god. <laughs> These servbots are amazing. Better than minions. Far less obnoxious. Mega Man, good going! True. You showed those pirates who's boss! <laughs> Look at the swagger walk! You've done yeah. so much for us. Well, I Mr. Mayor. <laughs> Or Miss Mayor in this case. Oh, my Miss Mayor. The legends say a horrible disaster. Legends? Roll credits. Ah, uh, damn it! Even if that's just a myth. Lately, we've been detecting increased activity underground. The Reaver bots are apparently activating of their own accord. It has me concerned. Does it now? Hmm. Well, if they're activating by themselves when they start going into the Apple market, yeah, that, that could potentially be a problem. Eh, I think it's fine. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> well, we saw how the police officers tried to handle them, and they did not do a very good job. I think this is a thou, but thou must. <laughs> <laughs> this one is definitely a but thou must, yeah. Shoutouts to Super Paper Mario for actually, like, giving you a butt down must right at the beginning of the game. Uh, <laughs> and if you say no, it instantly kills you, which is... <laughs> it reminds me of, uh, in Final Fantasy IX, at the very beginning of the game, uh, you're kidnapping a princess. And as your, like, group leader is explaining the plan using, like, dolls and, like, a... Like a a model kit version of the castle. He's like explaining the whole situation. He's like, and then we, and then you have an option of like picking different things. And if you say kidnap the queen, he'll be like, no, that's wrong. And it brings up the options again. And you, but if you were, if you pick kidnap the queen, like 99 times, he just calls you an idiot and moves on with the conversation. <laughs> oh my God. That yeah. is hilarious. Okay, so the we, we just got the Class A Diggers license, and this is essential because it allows us to enter the sub-gates on the island, and these are, like, the main dungeons of the game. Mm -hmm. So, the first example of this is the Cardone sub-gate, which is where we're going to go first. Sounds good. Disturbed. <laughs> While you're digging, you find anything of value. It would mean a lot to us if you could donate it to help with the restoration of the city. 
Gonna restore these nuts. Oh, Paul got destroyed here. Bro. <laughs> You know what? I'm gonna restore the strip club. Let's go. Oh my god. <laughs> of course. But yeah, if you, that is also very helpful if you restore the city because you'll be able to get a lot of items and certain side quests will start popping up and it does overall help your character, which is excellent. Alright. <coughs> um, Alright then. Uh, is, there, is, there, is there like a map or...? Uh, for the Cardone subgate, if you go through downtown, you leave through the west gate, it's not that far. Okay. I, I didn't know if that was how you access the flower dialogue. Yeah, there you go. That sure is a pretty flower. Gee, thanks, Mega Man. I have to get some water to put it in. Alright. So yeah, that, that, that doesn't do too much, but it will help your, uh, ethic epic level because for those of you who are watching for the first time Mega Man Legends is a very cool moral system where the the nicer you are to the residents the better discounts you will get in shops oh I didn't realize that I should probably stop kicking serve bots <laughs> well to, to be fair there is actually a benefit to being a jerk because if you are a jerk long enough your your armor will start to get darker and if you get if it gets dark enough, you can buy stuff on the black market, which is powerful. I'll put it that way. All right, nice. Can you simp one shop to make it fate me? Ah, uh, uh, I'm not gonna <laughs> that. Uh, so. Are you in downtown right now? Uh, I think so. Because you have to go through the west gate. Which would give you an up, which would get you to uptown. Gotcha. Um, wait. I think I'm in uptown, right? This is uptown. Are you? The With the city? Oh. Uh, I think that's. That, let me let me look. Hang on. That bird has no frames of animation. <laughs> <laughs> You're so. Old. Oh, um, but it has the most realistic flapping noises. No, that's not uptown. Uh, oh! You have to go through. Oof. Oh, yeah. I think if you go through there, that should be downtown, and then from there, the west gate will get you to uptown. Hmm. Wait, it's not uptown if it's west town. I, I know, the naming is weird. Oh! There's a car. Oh, I tried ah. to be cool. I tried to be cool. You tried. He tried it. <laughs> Two of the same men are walking right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, plasma traffic. That sounds vaguely Mega Man ish. Yeah, I mean, plasma cannon, sure. Sonic looks weird. <laughs> Alright, now here in Uptown, there's very there's something very uh nice you can get here as well. Uh if you go to the hospital, there's there's some trash cans, and one of them has an item that will let you make another special weapon. Ah shit. I wasn't looking at the ah. screen. Alright. So one of the trash cans here? Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> my roommate in the chat you mean up dog also you suck for upping the cheer amount <laughs> yeah he, he was uh was he, he was spamming single cheers <laughs> oh, so i upped it to Oof. 100 <coughs> oh oh the garbage can yeah i think the i think the garbage can with the item is by the hospital though oh okay well unless this is it Oh, refractor. Oh, eh, not a lot, but it's some, and I'll take it. Yep. Wait, where's the hospital at? Ah! Uh, uh, to the left. Yeah, there it is. The painting sucks. Oh, oh. You're gonna regret saying that, I'll put it that way. <laughs> the other side of the... There it is. 
Double pails. Yep. Does Up Dog live in Uptown? What's uh, Up Dog? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Who? Who's Steve Jobs? <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Broken propeller. Yep. All right. Now, if you call roll, you'll be able to make <clears throat> the next special weapon. And this one especially is also very good, although not for the same reason as the powered buster. We we'll need a compilation of every time Mega Man got hit by a car. If someone oh, wants to make that, great. if someone wants to make first person to do that by the end of this Let's Play, I'll get, PayPal you ten bucks. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, this will give you the vacuum arm, which allows you to... Oh, what? No, it won't. Huh. With the propeller, you should be able to... Make the vacuum arm. That's strange. I wonder if we missed something. I'm I'm looking this up because you should be able to make that. Um. Uh, hoping to get a legends collection. Yes, please. That's all I want. <laughs> huh? You did you you got the broken propeller right? I think that's all you should need. Unusable as is. Maybe Roll can use it to make something. <laughs> is there another piece to the puzzle here that we need? That's what I'm trying to find. Um... Yo! Sofa King, thank you for the sub. Oh, you need the broken motor, broken propeller, and broken cleaner. So maybe you're missing one of those. Oh, the cleaner. Okay. <laughs> let, me, let me see where that is real quick. <coughs> Yag. Oh, okay. The broken cleaner is in the shopping arcade. It's one of the garbage cans. Oh, okay. So if we go back to the, uh... Ah! Oh! If we go back to the Apple market and find that, we should be good to go. But yeah, we, we definitely want that because, spoiler alert... It lets you suck up Zenny, and if you upgrade it enough, you get infinite ammo. Oh. So you can use it forever. So yes, this is a very good weapon. It, it, it's very useful for getting a large amount of money very quickly. Is the, What's the, uh... I can get, like, roller skates, right? Like, that's a thing in this game? Yeah, that is something you can get later. God, oh. fuck. I jumped over it. I knew it was coming. Not today. <laughs> no, not today. Yeah. Alright, it's in one of these. Yeah, it's in the... I think it's called a broken arcade. Or the... Huh? Found 20 oh, bucks. Oh, the shopping arcade. So... No. Nope. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, it says found in a shopping arcade garbage can. Uh, is there like a video guide we could do for that? Like, I'm not. I'm, I'm looking. <coughs> Sorry, I'm just looking right now. Uh... It's all good. Take your time. What check check the various what a, stores. Yes. What a beautiful fake baby you have there. Oh, yeah. Do y'all have it? How do I... There we go. What do you got here? Garbage. Great. Nothing. Actual just trash. Oh wait, maybe it's in this box? Oh, okay. it, it did say uh, garbage can, so. Get nothing, you lose. Yeah, good, <laughs> good day, day, sir. sir. <laughs> I'm glad we both knew the quote. Love when one or two oh, says it. No, it um, hmm. Wait, is this the arcade then? Like, this is just the, like the little town? Yeah, it should be back where you were. I'm just trying Whoa. to find it. Oh, 
it's in a box in the Apple market, so it actually might have been in that box. What? I, that other guide I must have been using was wrong, because I, I looked at this one, it says found in a box in the Apple market. I have old shield, broken motor, and broken propeller. I don't have broken cleaner. You, you, you broken cleaner, it's in a box in the Apple market. Yeah, I checked all the boxes, I thought. Uh, uh, okay, go back. check there. there. Check. I checked that one. Oh, there's there's one more over here. I don't think I checked this one. There we go. There it okay. is. Yep. All right, so yeah. Now you can make the vacuum arm. That was clean. Yeah, nice. <laughs> nice. Thanks. No problem. Right. This is like Final Fantasy IX with Steiner, who every every time he walks, clank, 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 clank. Oh, by the way, back in Uptown, uh, if you looked close, or if you zoomed out the map, you would see that it says KTOX on the uh, slope there, towards the, towards the water. Oh, oh Catalox. Nice. Yeah. Ammo, I got ammo over here. Alright, so oh. now now we're good to go for the Cardone Forest. We just need to head there. I'm trying to remember exactly where it is. <coughs> we're used to make the vacuum arm. Yep. Nice. Uh, special weapons. Enhance. Oh, okay. The Cardone Forest is back where we started the game, like where the ship crashed. Yeah. Uh. I can just go ham on this then? Uh, Infinity! yeah. Infinity! Let's okay, go. Like I said, Infinity. So now it will, it, you will never run out of energy for this. It is absurd. And even though it costs a lot now. The fact that you can gain a ton of zenny real fast with this thing makes it very well worth it. The amount uh, of zenny you get with this is, is absurd. I'm slightly short, so I'm gonna... Alright. I, I I will say this now. The final special weapon, when I the first thing I did when I got it was I went and grinded zenny with this weapon, and I beat the final boss in like less than a minute. It was crazy. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. I wish is. I had that for the first time I let's played this about like seven years ago because I did not have the vacuum arm for that. And so oh. when I when I was grinding, it was literally me running in and out of a room over and over again, just quietly, just bam, 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 run around, yeah. collect the pieces, and leave. So. Well, uh, you still have to do that to grind. But you don't have to run to the pieces anymore. Now you can just suck them up with the vacuum. Right, what I was saying is you have to meticulously run to all the refractors that right. fall. So um, so that's all we need here then, right? Yep, we're good. Now we can head back to the Cardone Forest and, and by extension, the subgate. All right. Thank God I remember the fast travels a thing. Yep. Naturally, it was the last possible box he checked. Oh, oh, yes. Every <laughs> time. Who's this nerd? Oh, I, and uh, sorry, I, I wasn't looking at the um, uh, chat. I apologize, but for you, Skulk Tiger, you get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. Oh. Perfect. Love it. All right, so south of here, you should be able to weave around the mountains and head to the subgate. I wasn't there. I wasn't there. <laughs> Skull kid with the hearts, let's go. Yeah. Alright, so yeah, as mentioned prior, this is the first main dungeon of the game. There are four <coughs> things, if I recall correctly. The cave here? Uh, yeah, through there, and then a little bit further south, and you have to do like a bit of a U-turn, and that's where the cave is. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. Okay. Goodbye. Oh, goodbye. Man, that woman, that woman ran a lot faster than I remember her doing that. 
<laughs> it's because it's running at 60 frames per second. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, no. We don't have toes. Ah! <laughs> I found out we're a robot. <laughs> <laughs> we're the robots. Oh, right. Don't, yes, Roll will help us out. But if you get in trouble, get inside the car, okay? I'll get you back to safety. Okay. All right, so yeah, if you're if you're about to die, you can go in the car, and then it will reset the area. Oh, okay, gotcha. Just a little bit more, Mega Man. We're almost there. Oh, yeah. If you get in trouble, use the car as a shield. Yeah. There we go. So, like, I guess while we're on the subject, I might have mentioned this in the first part, but uh, there's 40 serve bots total. Oh, like. That's not. Collectively. Yes, that's not that's not something that gets revealed in this game. That would be in Misadventures of Tron Bond, but it's worth mentioning here regardless. Yeah. Well, actually, technically that's not true. There is actually a 41st serve bot, but that's something I'll talk about during Misadventures of Tron Bond. Oh, gotcha. And we'll get to that. I yeah. Although the uh, the thumbnail artist I DM'd for that, they just never replied to me. Ah, damn. I, I shot them a message and they, and they responded like a oh god damn it oh, no. the car can still hurt you that's fucking great make sure to include that in the montage yep um but uh with uh I, I shot them a DM and they reply like a week later saying oh hey sorry I missed your message like uh, I'm good now uh like what what were you looking for? I explained it to them and then they just haven't replied for two weeks. So right. oops. also whoever makes that montage, please make the music flutter versus Geshel Shaft. That would be perfect. <laughs> oh yes, please. The most iconic Mega Man Legends song. Alright, here's the subgate. Oh, This texture is like way too clean. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yep, Shell. Thanks for the uh, Shells 3 bleed heart tank, Shell. Appreciate it. Oh, <coughs> reach up there. Can you hear me, Mega Man? No. I'm picking up high energy readings from close by. It's probably uh, that Chaos Emerald over there. <laughs> oh, you mean Chuckles? You mean the Chaos Emeralds? <laughs> if, if this game just turned out to be a Sonic crossover, I give up. Oh my God! I mean, to be fair, this is not the first time Mega Man has crossed over with Sonic. It's happened twice, three times. Well, actually, no, four times now. Oh, that's so, true. Huh? Worlds collide and worlds unite from Archie Comics. Smash Ultimate 3DS and Wii U. And then, so, oh, I guess if you want to count Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate, because since they were both in the game, but yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, there's no Mega Man stuff in Rise, right? So there is. Oh, in that case, that's another one, because yeah. they have the Sonic content. Right, because uh, I, I I saw the Sonic stuff. That looked pretty cool, by the way. Yeah, it it, it did. Um, the Mega Man thing, by the way, is your Palamute can become Rush, which is awesome. <laughs> if they can uh, investigate the hole, you'll get some Zenny. Like the, the hole from back uh, around yeah, the curve, I think that's some Zenny. Yeah, I just... I missed out on a ton of Zenny just now, didn't I? Yeah, I sure did. Yeah, right. sorry. That That's karma for getting 3,000 Zenny in the first five minutes. Yeah, right. You already made your money. No capitalism. <laughs> no capitalism. Oh, hey. Hey! You'd love there to you see go. it.
Oh, that's good. Remember, you do have, you do have the vacuum arm if you need it. Wait, how do I equip that? Oh, no, wait, I forgot. You can't change special weapons. All right, well, I that's... guess not now, but, like, if you want to grind later, this is a good place to do it. Yeah, for oh. sure. Oh, that's a pretty good amount. Oh, that that's two fifty. Yep. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. If I recall correctly, this 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 sub game was pretty linear. The whole squad and get by one dude. Did you find anything? I'm picking up a faint signal. That must be the starter key. Keep so yeah, we need the starter key to progress. Lying around somewhere. Gotcha. Yep. Oh, there's a church chest up there too. Love yep. to see it. Wing, wing. Oh, it's a switch. First time chat viewer, hey, Mr. Bones, what's up? Oh. Oh, he, he, uh, he's from our Mega Man. He's one of the regulars. So thank you for joining. It means a lot. Oh, yo. Love to see it. Welcome. Always happy to see new people. Remember the first time you went on a dig, Mega Man? I wasn't used to being a spotter, and you ended up getting lost underground for three days. <laughs> three days? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Now, how they survive that is beyond me. Right. Well, I mean, to be fair, I'm a robot, right? Like, <laughs> like yes and no. <laughs> uh, if if I go for this, am I gonna die? Or like, what's? I. You might get hurt. Yeah. Good. Oh, oh, I remember. Okay, so I make that fall, and then I hit the switch to make it go this way, right? Yeah. Yeah. I try not to talk that way. No, uh, what in the group chat I have with you? Good thing. I remember when I first played the game, I was like, I don't want the box can crush you. And if I recall correctly, the answer is no. It just pushes you aside, but that would have been funny. That would have been funny, actually, if the box could hit you like a car. <laughs> yeah. Ow. Oh! Watch the small Weaver bots. Oh, hey, there we go. Yep. Another starter key. Yep, one more. One more. Practice shard's pretty good. Eh, yes, yes, Mr. Bones. We, I, I have talked about this before, but in the Capcom Giga League, um, it was shown that the Misadventures of Tron Bonds source code was currently being used at Capcom for something. So, mm. that's a pretty good indicator we're probably getting a Legends collection. Thank God. Thank fucking God. <laughs> um, I, now, whether or not that's soon or not is, is too early to say because all we know is it's being used. But my guess is that they are, they're, they are planning it and it will probably release within the next few years because these collections do take time to develop. True. Especially with Legends, they actually have to make changes to it, like the removing copyrighted stuff, right? So Exactly, yeah. Ooh, grenade kit. Need that. Yep, grenade kit's pretty useful. I like how she's like, you were stranded for three days, and all I thought about was that SpongeBob clip. It's like, great job, buddy. <laughs> My wife and I worked on that potato salad for three days. <laughs> three days! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
How did it take you three days to make a potato salad? <laughs> oh, and yes, the spring set is very useful, yeah. Doesn't look like there are any big weaver bots here. That's great, Roll. <laughs> Mega Man players through the entire game. Yeah, right. <laughs> Found an old bone. What does that do? I, f I forgot, but I think it, it lets you make an item later. Strange bone-shaped object. Mega Man's like, I know exactly how to use this. <laughs> Mega Man, stop it. <laughs> um, to answer your question, Mr. Bones, no. I don't think they're going to do it back-to-back, -back because if you recall, uh, Kazuhiro Tsuchiya, the current Mega Man producer, specifically said that the reason why the series died for so long is because of the fact that they released too many games simultaneously. So I think they're going to try and space it out and make sure that they, people aren't overwhelmed. I'm getting the same kind of readings as before. Do you see a switch anywhere nearby? All right. So my, my um, guess is it will... Hmm. Oh, sorry. All right. I was, I was just making sure that I... Because I, I saw you were stuck on that. But yeah, you were doing it right. Just uh, step on each switch from closest to farthest from the door and then run back to the door and keep going. Um, but my, my guess is they're, they're going to try and release the games a little bit spaced out because they don't want people to get overwhelmed again because burnout is directly what led to the series' death for eight years. So. And there you go. There's the last. That's it. <laughs> Old bone definition bone shaped object. Well, no shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. With the uh, Castlevania Advanced Collection versus the Anniversary Collection, so they're they're probably gonna try and space it out to make sure people don't get like super overwhelmed. Because even though Mega Man's a very short, like each individual game is very short, you can beat most of them within like ten hours. Um, especially like Legends. Battle Network's a little bit longer, that's closer to like 25 hours, but you still don't want people getting super overwhelmed by that. So it'll be better to space them out so that it gives time for, t for people to play them. Also, uh, with with Battle Network, a lot of those games have like two versions of each one, and I know they, it's like kind of a Pokemon thing where there's not a super huge difference between them, but like, I can't imagine they're gonna put all of them in one collection, right? Meaning they're probably gonna no, do... I, they might. I, I oh, can see that might. happening. Okay. Because the the as you said, similar to Pokemon, the differences boil down to it's not as bad as Pokemon, where like if you change one line of code, it changes the other version. You can't do that, unfortunately, because the story is different. Mm -hmm. But um, or like the dialogue is different. But it essentially boils down to which powers you'll get is the difference. <laughs> He's so suspicious of everything he touches. I mean, after the first one where a giant reaver bot just came up out of nowhere and started like, hey, what are you doing in here? I'd, I'd start to think the same. Hmm. All right. Is there anything else in here that I needed or are we good to go? Oh, you're good. Okay, but what's this like little secret boy up here? Oh, uh, I think we're going to come back for that later. Ugh. Yeah, the, the only things we needed were the old bones, spring sets, obviously the starter keys to get over here, and then the grenade kit. Gotcha. Oh, did we get the old doll, actually? Old doll? Uh... There should be one. Yeah, I think it's for a side quest, but I'll... I'll uh... Oh. Yeah, that, that's just for a side quest. So if you want to skip that side quest, you can, but that, that would be something else. Oh, it's in it's back in here then? Yeah. Uh, can I get it right now, or do I need a certain upgrade? Uh, no, you can get it right now. All right, let's go get it. Let's get it done. Right. There's, a, there's a hole in the wall by the conveyor belt area, and that's where it is. Like I said, it's, it's not... So the grenade kit especially... Is or sorry, not the grenade kit. Uh, the the spring item. I literally just 
mentioned it earlier, but uh... I don't have Oh, Mr. Bones, thank you for the follow. I appreciate oh, it. Yeah, that's awesome. Thanks, Mr. Bones. Oh, the spring set, right. So the spring set especially, you you must get that to beat the game. Like the, the grenade kit, you, you can technically skip if you want the game to be a little bit harder, but the spring set is 100% required to beat the game. So that was the main thing you needed to get. Gotcha. I, I forget exactly where that comes into play, but in one of the later dungeons, the item you get from making that is is required. Yeah, because I, I do remember in the Let's Play I did, I think we skipped the uh, the upgrade that makes you jump higher, and because of it, we got stuck at a certain point. So. Yeah, so th yeah, that that's the item that makes you jump higher, and that is required to beat the game. This guy's just trying his fucking best, dude. Yeah. As are most of the Reaver bots here. Yeah, you right. got the thing! Yeah, exactly. And yeah, I, I like how Mr. Bones phrases it. The Legends X Battle Network Star Force Zero and ZX series basically played a commercial shark fighting game in the 2000s. And that is essentially what led to shark the fighting? series going on hiatus because too many things tried to compete for Mega Man fans. And newer players just got super confused and that's what led to this. Well, in general so, though, that it, like even despite the fact they've made so many Mega Man games, it's still like... It's all it's it's in Capcom's top five selling, but it's not like the best selling, right? Despite exactly. the number it's, of games. Yeah, it's uh, number four. Behind, okay, there you go. You got it. Now you can now we can get out of here. Um, yeah, it's number four. Number three would be Street Fighter. Two is Monster Hunter. One is Resident Evil. I'm kind of shocked Resident Evil's that high. Like I'm I'm I am, but I'm not shocked that it's that high. Like, because no, that, that's, like, that's an understandable reaction. Yeah, because, like, don't get me wrong, like, Resident Evil's huge, but, like, number one selling? That's, like, really weird to me, you know? It's, like, a hundred million or something. It's it's pretty high. Yeah, that's huge. That's big Although, nuts. to be fair, the best-selling, like, single game is Monster Hunter World. Yeah, that's that's Capcom's most profitable thing that they've ever done. <laughs> so. Yes. Alright, so now we should go back into the support car because we can get, I think, th two items. Yeah, two items. So. Oh. Oh, well, don't blow up the support car. <laughs> and roll died. That, the end. Uh, and the game ends. Feels bad. <laughs> Mega, Mega Man's like, whoops. Gotta tell Grandpa. <laughs> yep. What the fuck, Mega Man? Why'd you do that? <laughs> 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 Shit, dude, why? <laughs> you killed my daughter. <laughs> my <granddaughter>. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, bro, why'd you do it? <laughs> Alright, let's see what you can do. Yeah. So, we should be able to get the grenade arm and jump springs. Okay, so there's a grenade arm. This is a special item? Or uh, yes, a weapon? Yes, special weapon. So yeah, it shoots grenades. Basically about what you would think it is. What? Is it good? Oh, uh, it's decent. It's not the best item in the game, but it's pretty good. This, however, like I said, <laughs> jump springs, you must have to beat the game because it increases your jump height. Right. <laughs> Jess, very quick way to have Mega Evil Mega Man. <laughs> yeah, no, I the I got yep. Uh, <laughs> blows blows up roll. There's no fanfare to it. There's it literally just happens, <laughs> and everyone's just, just like, dude. <laughs> everyone's just like, dude. Why? <laughs> like it's like I didn't mean to <laughs> hit the wrong button. Uh, What'd you expect? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, do I want the grenade arm, or do I want the one I have right now? Uh, honestly, you can stick with the Powered Buster. The grenade arm is fine, but Powered Buster is better. Maxed out. Uh, I still don't need range. That thing goes for fucking yeah. 400 miles. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. Legends Gaming 2? Hello, Land... Oh, uh, Land... Land, oh, Land right? Yeah, yeah. Yep. The Grand Grenade is pretty based. No idea what that is. 
That, uh, the grenade arm, I believe. Oh, okay, gotcha. Powered Buster's still great. Uh, where am I going now? Okay, so the next thing you'll want to do is there's a, there's a, there's a, like, a small zone gate on the way back to the Apple Market, and it's through the cave first, around the U-turn, and we'll, we'll want to go there. All right, then let me save real quick. Guys, Landy, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. The next item, because, so technically we can actually go to the second subgate right now if we mm -hmm. really wanted to, but it would be very useful if we went to, um, if we went to two different portals, portals two and three, and grabbed, mm -hmm. or runes number two through five, and grabbed a few items to make some gotcha. stuff. Uh, special so items, can... jump yeah. spring. But... Yeah. The first item we're going Whoa! for. Yeah. Fucking leaping lizards over here. Let's go. The first item we're going for is the, um, I don't know what it's called. Uh, the rapid fire barrel. Oh, oh and the roller board. That too, but. Yeah, we, we want to go to the portal, which is by, um... That's where the lady ran earlier, right? Yeah, like, it's by the, it's through the cave. Yeah, I think that should be it. I think it's that one. Uh, fun fact, the team behind uh, Legends later did uh, Battle Network, because there's a few sound effects in them, and they also share a shit ton of references. Love to see yep. it. Yeah, one of the net navis in Battle Network is a Legends reference. I won't spoil who it is because it's a character we won't encounter in this game, but in the next game we'll see him. Hell yeah. I forgot exactly where it is, but there should be a few chests around here with the items. There's the, uh, there's the roller board and the, uh, rapid fire barrel for this one. And then there's, there's one more item as well. There's a few more items as well. Oh! I can just do that now. I forgot. Oh, uh, Landy, we just beat the first subgate. The, the Cardone Forest subgate, we already did that. So we're just, we're hunting for items at the moment in this, in this, uh, I think it's ruined like two or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah, it's a mimic. I'm spectating him right now. Cool. Yeah, it's all good. Uh, try this, uh, very yeah, I have awesome. a map if we get super lost. If your back is still through the Shouldn't, theoretically. Hey, 1100 Zenny, let's go. Yep. Oh. <coughs> wow, Zenny disappears very quickly. Yeah. Oh, nice. That was worth a lot. Ball on the wall. A refractor. 820. There we go. I hate when I find robo worms in my energy capsules. Yeah. Uh, that and strafing Whoa. being a bitch to get used to. Oh my god. 9240? Let's go. Yeah, on the lower level, there should be an item. I like how it's either the least valuable refractor or the most valuable one. There's no in-between yeah. on those. Alright. Uh, you said... You know... Yeah, oh, there it is. Yeah, there okay. it is. So, the green door on the opposite side, if you were to go in there, uh, that's the Cardone Forest oh, subgate again. So, we don't have to go in there. Oh, okay. So that one. We head mean? back up. Yeah, that one. We go in there, that's the Cardone Forest Gate. So if we go back up, um. 
I was seeing if there was anything else in here, like a secret. Yeah. All right, we're good. Yep, there's, there's a few other items in this place, though. Um, specifically, the next thing we want to get is the rapid fire barrel. Horses or whatever, right? And that's somewhere in here still? Yeah, somewhere in here. The jumping height. All sub gate doors are turquoise laced with gold and yellow. All right. Yeah. Good to know. So yeah, if you, if if a door is turquoise and that tells you you're going into a sub gate, which is useful. It's so nice I'm able to just leave these giant yep. clips now. Sixteen twenty. Let's go. Uh, oh. Fuck you. <laughs> oh no, you flipped him back over. There we go. Fixed. Yep. I think the only sub weapon I found was the landmine thing because I couldn't find any of the others. Yeah, the, I think that was the problem I had on my original playthrough. Shiny oh. object. That's also useful, yeah. We definitely want the shiny object. And I think if we go a little bit further, we'll find another item as well. Oh yeah, those things are ridiculous in Legends 2 due to the differing physics. There we go. Jeez, this, these guys are rough when they flip back over. It wastes so much of my ammo. <laughs> yeah. I, well, I, as the powered buster levels up and as you get a little bit stronger, uh, these guys will be kind of an issue. Yeah, true. And they're also worth a good amount of money, so it's yeah. not too bad. That should be. Uh, do uh, Mr. Bones hopping into two after one, or have Charm Bond in between? Don't take uh, that out of context. Uh, um, technically, Tron Bond would be first because that was released first, and it leads into two. Or. To be a little more specific, Tron Bomb is a prequel to one, but like several elements from, from that will lead into two. Uh, is there. Is this just I not a thing I can do? I think that's something you can do later, if I recall correctly. Because the, the item we're trying to find now is the pen wipe. Drill arm is needed, but don't get that till later. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, that, that, that should be the pen wipe. Pen wipe. There we go. Alright. There are two more things, if I recall correctly. Or no, actually one more thing. Once we get the rapid fire barrel, we can we can move. Gotta find that then. Where's that at? Yeah. Um. It be. It should be up on a ledge. Okay, so just gotta keep popping around. Yeah. There's uh apparently there's a door. According to this, it says there's a doorway at the, and at the bottom of the incline. You can go forward, and then when you look up and to the left, there's a ledge with the chest. <laughs> yeah, we got the vacuum arm. Yep, that one we got. That is that is so useful. Ledge should be. Um, actually, it might have been in the previous room. Oh, it, wait, there's or, one over here. Oh, no, that, that's probably it, yeah. That's probably it. Nope. Oh. Um, Worth a lot. <laughs> yeah, true. Maybe it's this one? Oh, that might be it.
Uh, I remember two of the other sub weapons you can get a drill and vacuum arm. Yeah, I saw yeah, footage yeah. from Clement's LP of the game. It makes grinding very damn easier if you can't get the crystals quickly. Yep. Alright, money. 780. Sorry. Yeah, the, the rapid fire barrel's in the chest. Forty five hundred. Yep. This place is fucking packed. Oh yeah, should he just be on here? Ah. Oh. Don't add it to the montage. <laughs> That's not a car, so that doesn't count. Ah. Oh my god, this fuck this dude, he sucks. <laughs> All right. Before I continue, we need to use this. <laughs> Fair enough. You, re you can refill it later at the Apple Market. Don't kill it. Never mind. Oh, best just to run away. Eh. Too late. Oh. You might, have, you might have gone a little too far in that case, because you should have encountered a, um... Oh. This is it. Oh, yep. yep. Okay, we're good. We can leave the dungeon now. There we go. Um, yep. There is one more uh, portal that we should go to to get two more items, but after that, we're good for the second subgate. Oh, okay. Portal number three. I gotta remember where exactly it is. Is there like a quick teleport out of here, or? I unfortunately no. You do have to leave the dungeon manually. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, that's that's one thing that they that would be nice to add. Yeah, the green thing is the Shakaru, and it is very, it can kill you very quickly. Close. That's sniping. Landy, Landy is absolutely right about that. What, what, what'd they say? Uh, the green thing that, like, tries to hunt you down, the Shakaru, is, is the single deadliest enemy in the game because of how powerful it is. It can kill you very sure, fast. Fuck oh, you love to hear it. Yeah. I can't really go anywhere either. Um, oh, and it's, then I'll just yeah. right, right through here and we're good. Yep. On our way back to the um, uh, Apple Market, there's one more sub, uh, not subgate, there's one more portal we can go into. And mm -hmm. if we head in there, we can get two more items and then we're good for the second subgate. All right, sounds good. Uh, is this the way? Should be. Oh wait, hang on. There's something. We're good. Mm, it's just a tree. Low poly Ooh. tree. Nice. Oh wait, slight ROM hack for this game adds analog support. Okay. Yeah, I do recall that. Mitigates tank control stiffness a bit. All right, I'm I'm kind of interested if you if. Uh, Mr. Bones, if if you could, like, could Mr. Bones like DM you one one two and like give you a link yeah, to that? Yeah, yeah, and then I'll, I'll, yeah. All right, cool. I, I'd appreciate that. I'd actually be interested in checking that out. So. All right. Uh, I'm trying to remember where the other. Okay, the the other portal is after the water. It's it's right before the Apple Market. Oh, it's the first one right here. Yeah, yeah. I think in there is the. Is, is where the you literally is. shoot shoot at me if you want to hit this ranger. Yeah. 
All right, and then in here, there are two items we're looking for, which is the, we're looking for, so we got the cannon kit in here before, but now that we have the, um, now that we have the uh, spring, the spring set, we can jump up and there's one chest that contains the triple access and that's all we need. Oh, okay. Uh, if you throw grenades into the water at downtown, you will see it fall in. It has an animation too, just grenades and nothing else. Oh, weird. Yep. I forget exactly what the triple access does. I'm gonna look. I don't even know what that does. Oh, I think it's one of the buster parts, sorry. I think this just helps your buster, but it's still nice to have. Jukes. Jukes. We juke. Alright. <laughs> it's just the E word. Yeah, so on um on our Mega Man, when we can't talk about emulators because you know Capcom, but since it is technically like a Capcom promoted server, so we just sure. call it the E. Uh. Oh, secret hole. Our Mega Man made the E word more of a slur than actual slurs. Ouch! I didn't mean I didn't mean it that in that way, but wait, it just brought me here. Oh, it might have. Um, Landy, do you remember ah! the triple access? Oh, there's another one. Do you remember if the triple access does anything besides like increasing your um rate of fire? I don't think it does. And if I recall correctly, it's not like used to build a special weapon. So the triple access. Do you remember what that does? Because I think it just increases your buster power. Increases your busting. Yeah. <laughs> but I know it's in, it should be in this triple access. Like random access memories. Sorry, I, I love that album. Access, got it. Yeah, I, I'm I'm trying to remember what that does. I think because because there's there, it should be in here, but yeah, I, it's in the same room where you found the cannon kit. <laughs> On legends, your Mega Man. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, does it? I don't think it does anything beyond that. So, like, if you if you don't want it, it's not like vital to the game, but it might be useful regardless. Another data drive right over here. Uh oh, okay. So, yeah, it's just an optional thing for like. Uh oh. Just fucking hide out. I'm good. Yeah. Yeah, you might, yeah, as Landy says, you might want to run the data real quick after this because it helps a little bit low. Yeah, for sure. Stupid monkey. The monkey. monkey. And yeah, after this, we're good for the second subgate, which, uh, if you're wondering what that is, we go to Uptown again by the uh, water. <laughs> only for no <laughs> which is uh, not at all an advertisement for the best Legends character. Only nine ninety nine if you buy in the next five minutes. I don't want I don't want a data. That sounds horrible. No. Mm. 
I'm not going to spoil why, because that spoils the entirety of the series, but no, I don't want data. Alright, what am I... Am I, like, on crack? What's going on? It should be in this room, but again, if you want to just, like, skip it and move on, it doesn't do anything besides increase your stats. I, I just don't it, really know what I'm looking for. It's in... It should be in one of these rooms. Do you remember where you found the cannon kit? It's on a ledge, and over there, if you go to, like, the northwest side of the ledge, there's a couple of trap chests, and then one of them is the triple access. Yeah, but if you don't want it, that's fine. We, we can... Hmm. I, I, I'm just not sure I understand its value, so I think... All right, is. yeah, it, we, we can skip it. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. Because I'm there, sure there, we'll there, find there. something better anyway. Yeah, exactly. It just, it just increases your stats. So the next area we're going to is in Uptown. And, um, yeah, there's a, there's a boat shop that we need to go to. People who are familiar with this game know what, what's coming next. Mr. Bones, be completely honest. Did you know about Steambot Chronicles before Clement Let's Played it? Uh, like, be, be honest here. I saw the cover once. Okay, fair enough. So, no of it, for sure. <laughs> know that a game existed called that. Yeah. I knew of it too because I, I same way I got I, I was like, hey, I know you like Mega Man and this game is very similar to Mega Man Legends. But I've never played the game sadly. Because it never got re released outside of the PS2. Well in that case that sounds like a prime candidate for emulation. <laughs> yeah. We're going to the extension Because I mean that's not like it's not reasonable to expect you to pay for that now. Because I'm sure that game costs a fucking arm and a leg now. Oh, just ask Clement, yeah. How much is it? Like, generally? Uh, let's find out. I'm going to go to price charter... The price charting .com. All right, I'm in Uptown. Now what? Uh, go by the ocean. Oh, yeah. $110 loose. Good luck. Yeah, that's... Fuck that. Yeah, I'm not Wiley, paying $110. Wiley's Boats? Uh, yup. Uh, yup, so that's a reference to Dr. Wiley from the classic series. Do you want to cut... Do what you want because a pirate is free. Yep. Someone stole all the boats. So As is you it say in our Mega Man, you can e word it. Twenty <laughs> Zenny. Lame. Lame. So is this confirmed to be, to be the Wily or just a guy? No. Called... This is a completely separate character with who just happens to be named and like looks similar to Wily. Gotcha. Don't, don't this don't slight spoiler alert. This is an, a great example of the game misdirecting you. Gotcha. Like you I would think that this guy is like super important with the name Wily, considering the entire rest of the Mega Man series, but no, it's it's literally just a, a boat guy. <laughs> this Wily always had a threatening aura to him. To be fair, Jesus. when you when. Considering the 11 plus Mega Man classic games, that's not entirely unreasonable. Right. Uh, so. Oh, uh, if you go down to the dock, you should be able to talk to some of the construction workers, and that's how you progress the plot. Okay, there we go. It, well, I went up to the door, and it just wouldn't let me. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, those guys. Oh, you might need to go around. Or maybe you can, yeah. Yeah, you might have to get, you might have to go around. Oh! Oh! There's 
Is there a bot? I wonder why someone would do something like that. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. I love that. Mega Man, like classic Mega Man and Dr. Light spotting him from heaven. He's just working there, menacingly. <laughs> it's a float, but it won't be much help for you with all your gear. That's oh. fair. Oh, oh there's a separate door. Oh. God damn it. It won't let me out. Oh, okay, weird. It pulls up a dialogue box the first time you interact with it, and then you just do it again to leave. Yeah, it's very strange. I got stuck here, too. I had to, like, ask someone in the server. I was like, what the hell do you do? And they're like, oh, okay, this is a dumb part. You have to go through it again. I'm like, oh, okay, fine. Wiley asked me to fix this boat for him, but it's beyond my help. No, I, I mean, how am I supposed to fix something even he can't fix in the first place anyway? <laughs> Are you gonna hold a float with a fucking sniper rifle in your pocket? <laughs> Good point. Ask Link that question. Ooh, that's another good point. Who? A Link from <laughs> no. Zelda. No, I I know. The, the, is, uh, who? Never heard of him. Oh. oh, hang on a sec. I'll be right back. Actually, it's Lonk from Pennsylvania. <laughs> Link has plot armor. I mean, to be fair, at this point, classic Mega Man. <laughs> I'm glad I could get someone as pretty as you to fix my boat for me. Tell you what, you can use it anytime you want. We'll be able to get to the island now. That's great! Let me know when you want to go out to the island. I'll pilot the boat for you. See you later! Okay. Neat. Can you hear me by any chance? Yes, I can now. Okay, this is really weird, but Discord just, well, my internet just crashed, number one. And I think Discord is in this weird in-between state where I can't actually do anything. It's stuck on the Did You Know page. And despite the fact that I can hear you, I can't see anything. So Weird. Uh, yeah, I don't know why. I think it's just because my internet crashed at the wrong time. So give me a moment to try and like task manager Discord to snap out of it. Cause yeah, for sure. I'll take. I'll wait a minute then. How's everyone doing? <laughs> one one moment. This should not be happening. One one moment. How's everyone doing? Are we chilling? Having a good time? <laughs> We've been entertaining to some degree. I'm checking Twitter. Uh, what the fuck? Wait, can you still hear me? Yeah, I can still hear you. Okay, now something is definitely wrong because now Discord just completely lost it. Like, I, I closed it and. Uh, do you have multiple instances of it running at once? Yeah, okay. There we go. Uh, give me one moment. I'm gonna disconnect from the stream and reconnect. Alright, go for it. Aw, thank you, Jess. I appreciate it. Although, I think you're very biased about 
<laughs> but, uh, is this my first Mega Man game? Uh, no, I, well, I mean, I haven't really played much of any Mega Man game. I've played, I've played a couple of the classic games. I've never beaten any of them. I, I, uh, can I, you I hear think, me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, I've beaten okay. one and two. Yeah. I beat We're good Mega Man 1. Sorry, that was weird. Yeah, I've played Mega Man 1 and 2. Now, haven't beaten either of them. I've beaten Mega Man 8. That was rough. Uh, I've played and gotten to the final phase of the final boss of X4, and uh, that sucked. That final boss, specifically. The game's great. That boss sucks. <laughs> Uh, and then yes, I... Sigma definitely, he's a difficult boss just because he's three phases long and the third phase in particular requires you to basically multitask because you have to deal with both Sigma Gunner and Earth Sigma, which yeah. can be annoying because they have two health bars, basically. The good news is that um, they don't attack you simultaneously, so you can focus on one at all times. Mm. And as long as you use the right special weapons and have like enough equipment to get by, you should be okay. Yeah. Uh, and um, then uh, I and then I've played all the Legends games, but I've only beaten the first one. Okay. Oh, yeah, and the last time I played Legends two was like <laughs> twenty one years ago. So. Oh my god. Yeah. So. So when it, it first it, came out, basically. Yeah. We rented it from a video store, and uh, that was that was the only time I played it. So, I think I think I got as far as there was like a frog boss, and whenever I beat it, the game crashed. So. Oh, that's unfortunate. And yeah, that that sounds like Legends too. <laughs> uh, I just hover in the air and hope for the best. Yeah, the 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 uh, Sigma boss in X4 can be very difficult. To dodge that phase, um, what you can do is you can actually hang behind him. So if you if you gas jump over him and then hang behind him, you can just chill there and he'll never hit you. Hell yeah. Love to hear it. And then the third phase is the part where the, most people struggle because it's a lot of stuff. Oh, okay. Also, I'll get back to that in a minute. Boss fight time. We have... Barukan Galed, or Jaled, I don't remember how to pronounce it. But Galed. for this part, the machine buster, which I believe is what you have equipped, is the best uh, part. Start. You can't actually hurt it during this part, so you have to just hit the missiles to make sure you don't die. Uh, <coughs> is there... Okay, there we go. Yeah. What's a video store? Just don't, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me, honey. Feels old, man. Yeah, the lock-on is very useful. So yeah, be very careful during this part, because if you run out of health, you will instantly die. You, 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 it will be a straight game over if you, uh, if you, if that bar goes down to the zero. Uh, but yeah, since this part is just making sure the missiles don't don't hit the uh, boat. Oh, oh, there you go. Mega Man. I'm getting multiple signals on my sonar. Multiple yeah. signals. That's no good. Yep. Yeah. Bombs are serious. I mean, we did trash their tank, to be fair. Bomb bombs are serious. 112 2021. <laughs> yep. They're above us. Oh. But yeah, as I was saying, for X4, the, 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 the thing to deal with with Phantom Sig or sorry, uh, Sigma Gunner and Earth Sigma is they only do one attack at a time, so if you master each individual attack, the fight isn't super terrible. There is there is one really challenging part where if Earth Sigma pulls you in and starts firing garbage at you, that can be annoying, for mm -hmm. sure. Um, honestly, for that part, I just kind of get as close to as, as I can to him and just spam Ground Hunter until he dies, frankly. That makes That's sense. That's really much you can do there. B 
bombs are serious. Explosions are very real. True. That is that is true. The Sigma fight from X6 is easier than every single X4 boss. Is that? Or, or all of X4 Sigma bosses. Yeah, that's true. The the Sigma fight in X6 is very easy. You can just spam Metal Anchor for the first phase and uh, Magma Blade for the second phase, and he goes down very quickly. Oh, well, I mean, like, it works. It's, it's, <laughs> it's to the point where the second phase of the fight actually gives you health if you kill the enemies. Yeah, I mean, that, I just gotcha. It's, it's a very easy fight, which is anticlimactic considering the hell that you would go through earlier. Right. Uh, did you save the data before this, by the way? Yes, I did. Okay, because I, I was about to say, just be careful, because I don't want you to run out of lives and get sent back very far. That's true. The Hell Sigma's theme is great. I, I, I love that theme. Trying to keep an eye on it. Yep. Okay, but wait, at least Mother Brain has, like, from Super, has, like, a cool climatic finale to it, you know? And there is a fight, you know? Like, it's not like it's literally just a freebie, you know? That's true, but it, what, what Andy's trying to say is you have to try a little bit harder for Super Metroid. Yeah, yeah. Because Hell Sigma, you can just literally spam Metal Anchor and Magma Blade and you'll win. You don't even have to think about oh, it. Oh, I, I thought they were saying... In terms of, uh, like, Super Metroid fucked up. I thought that's what they meant. No, it's, it's his comparison. It's saying, at least with Super Metroid, you had to do something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, okay, yeah, I agree with that. Oh, God, Teasel. <laughs> Bad move. Yep. All right, here we go. Here's the boss fight. Against Barukhan Jaled. Gillette? The Razor? Gillette. G-E-L-E-D-E. -E -E. I don't know how to pronounce that. Yeah, but it's funnier to say Gillette. The Razor. <laughs> Weird. For some reason, Tom Arnold liked my tweet. What? Huh. Oh, from uh, Game Week? Well, yeah, he, he follows me. So that does happen sometimes. Gotcha. No, Tom's a good person. That's good, at least. Yeah. He's doing well. I've, I've talked to him a couple times. Hell yeah. Love to hear it. Same with, um, ah, uh, Triss. Uh, oh yeah, I've heard good things about them as well. I don't really interact with them, so. I, but I've heard funny. nothing I but met, good I, things, so. I met them on a Nintendo New York line randomly once for the direct showings, and mm -hmm. I completely randomly, I just happened to be behind them, and mm -hmm. we've talked a bunch since then. Good. Oh, nice. They, they are an awesome person. Oh, watch the missiles, because you don't want to run out of health. What? Where are they? Uh, up above you. You need to be careful, because, um... Well, doesn't matter. You don't want to lose all your health. Uh, so eventually you'll, you'll get pulled into a lake, and at this point, just use the special weapon and hit the boss's arms and the, and the cannons on the back. I don't have to do all that again, do I? I have to do that all again, don't I? You do have to do that all again, I'm sorry. Oh, boy. Oh. <laughs> it feels like the game breaks any time you go into this menu. I know, right? I also love how the serve bots are 2D cutouts because we increase the graphical capabilities too much. Oh, no, that's that's a normal thing. Oh, right, that's true. That's been a minute. All right, so yeah, you do have to do the whole fight again, but you should be able to do it. All right, and go. the good news is, directly after this fight is the sub gate. You don't have to like travel anywhere. I'm picking something nice. Up on the sonar. I think I'll take that point to save, and uh, we'll end the stream there for the night. Uh, after the sub gate or before the sub gate? Uh, after the boss fight. Okay, fair. Oh. Yeah, that's good. That's good progress. So we beat one of the main sub gates. 
<laughs> you beat the Cardone one. Surfbots just walked right into Parappa the Rapper, no worries. <laughs> yeah. I think at this point, we'll be just under halfway through the game, because I think the lake... Well, I don't want to spoil the name of the subgate, but the, the next subgate, I believe, is the direct halfway point. Oh, okay, cool. Go oh, wait. <laughs> the dog wants pets I can't pet right now. Dog, sorry. Boss fight. <laughs> Boss battle, as Xander Mobus would say. Can you imagine... Whoa, okay, can you imagine if... So imagine the car wrap from Parappa, but Parappa is replaced by a serve bot, and Mussolini is replaced by Teasel. Yo! If, Big brain. That's, that's good shit, I want that now. Yeah. Oh, and Landy asks, who do you think is the best Vaughn? Best Bond? Um... Yeah, between Teasel, uh, Tron, and Bond. I, I, I like, I like them all for different reasons, but I think, uh, Tron is number one for me. I'm a sucker for yeah. cute designs, and she has a really cute design, so. Tron's, uh, as you pointed out, Sundere, thank you for telling me how to pronounce that, personality. <laughs> uh, Sundere. I, I, damn it, I've never heard that said before. <laughs> But yeah, her, her personality is great. I mean, there's a reason why she's the main character of one of the games. She's awesome. Yeah. She's good. I like her. And then Teasel is like an extremely close second, if not tied. Yeah. Because I love cool. how he He doesn't get that much time to shine, sadly. Yeah, for sure. Uh-oh. <coughs> We're doing all right. The We're doing fun. all right. Yeah, the Teasel does spout the funny a lot. That is true. He do be heckin' goofy. Evil goofy, you like. <laughs> Kerchuk? Mega Man, I <laughs> yeah. We don't even have to make a meme about evil Volna would be like, because that already exists. Oh, that's true. <laughs> we have our canonical answer to that. Oh, I, I guess that one was just done. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm taking the day off. <laughs> it showed up and was like, nah. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Pulled into the parking lot and then just pulled out again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a great jam. Uh oh. The the overall like I this is definitely not my favorite Mega Man soundtrack ever, just because I think a little too much of it is ambient noise, which is very fitting for the game's in uh, feel in general. But it's definitely not something I would listen to outside of the game, with the exception of a few specific songs. If that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, I feel that. Like, obviously, Apple Market, Flutter vs. Geshelshaft, Water Battle are amazing and awesome, but the majority of the soundtrack is a little too ambient. Definitely. I think I did worse this time than I did. <laughs> <laughs> Mega Man Community do a fan animation of the Bonds doing a Team Rocket motto. Yeah, that would be pretty funny. That'd be great. I, I'd pay for that. That sounds like something, um... Oh, what's her name? W might make. I don't know. That that definitely sounds like something W would find funny. W? Oh, another admin on our Mega Man or another mod. Gotcha. We got. It, I just realized we do really do have a lot of artists for our Mega Man mods because W is an artist, Shavo's an artist. One more. You know, stop my head. But yeah, a lot of artists. I love to see Sully. it. Yeah. All right, there we go. Yeah, just shoot the guy's arms and, and backside, and we'll go down pretty quickly. Uh-oh. Uh... Oh, you might need to focus on the, the missiles first, because you need to wait till it goes to the lake. Sorry. And then when you get to the lake, just go ham and 
it'll die. An artist of chaos in Minecraft, sure. Oh yeah, Glide Base 2 from, uh, what was that, either Misadventures or Legends 2? Yeah, that's, that's great. Uh, fight or retreat? I think retreat, fight. right? Or no, yeah. sorry, retreat, yeah, retreat. Oh! Back to the boathouse? Well, no, wait, wait for it. Oh, okay, yeah, and then we get, like, it's like on a river now, right? Yeah. Nope, she just said, fuck off, we're going to the boathouse. Oh. Oh, yeah, that prevents you from getting a game over, I guess. Oh, it, oh it's, this is like a halfway point then, so it's like, hey... Yeah. Hey, child, so you don't have to repeat all this shit again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, very tough. Uh, Why are you going off again? Uh, the, uh... Oh, what was I going to say? I don't know. I lost my train of thought. Whatever. Oh. One two, you still there? Hello? Yeah, I'm still here. Oh, okay, just making sure. I didn't know if you disconnected again. No, no. If I did, I, could, I have my phone next to me, which doesn't rely on the campus Wi-Fi, so I can just do that. The, the campus Wi-Fi overall is very good. Like, it's very fast, and it, it doesn't have too many problems. The, the issue is that, for some random reason, there definitely are moments where it just cuts out for no reason, and I'm not quite sure why. Weird. Yeah, it's strange. It doesn't happen too often, so I don't care that much, but, like, it happened before, as you, as you saw, which was very strange. Yeah, you might want to use the lock on here, if possible, to try and... I, I can't. It won't let me lock onto the missiles. Oh. Okay. POV data turns into a microwave. Oh, that's a that's a reference to Legends 2, actually. We'll get there. Alright, so yeah, at the end of this river, there's a lake, and then you can just go ham on it. <laughs> I, I love the frog boss. Froggy! <sighs> Oh, that does remind me, I do need to continue Sonic Adventure, because I got all the A-rank levels, so now I just need to do the, uh, Chow Garden, which will take forever, but... Oh, yeah. It's not hard, though, is it? It's just grinding? Yeah, mostly. It's mostly just grinding. That's fine. All right, so yeah, now that you can see the health bar, now you know you can attack it. So the, the, the arms are a, a one valid way to attack it. The weakness is the are the cannons on the back. So yeah, those two cannons right there, those will you shoot those and it'll go down real fast. Why aren't they running? Do they think they can beat us? Huh, that's it should be. Oh, you need to be like. Dead accurate with that. Yeah, you need to be pretty, pretty on point. Oh, no. There you go. Shut up! Stop your Shut up! <laughs> you still have one weapon. Not for long, though. There you go. <laughs> Be quiet already. <laughs> uh, Alright, okay. so that cannon is the weak point. Destroy that the thing and you win. I literally can't reach it. Huh. You should be able to... Hold on. Yeah, it just says focus on the arms and back cannons, and then that should kill it. Am I missing something here? Oh, you need to switch to range, yeah. 
Uh, switch to range. What? Uh... Oh. Landy, what do you mean by switch to range? Are we missing something here? Range oh the range buster parts. I don't have those. Oh. Is it still possible to win? I, I would oh. think so. Oh, it okay. It appears you are out of luck. Huh. That's weird, because I remember... Great. Where, where, where do we get that, then? I guess we can stop here. If it's... Oh, you're doing some damage. You might still be able to win. It's it's gonna be an uphill battle. But well, like no, the, the those bits of damage are from when I fired the uh, uh, the what little special weapon energy I had. Oh, you might need to like change your strategy then. Maybe use the Buster for the first part and then. Well, I just saved right before that, so. Okay, that's fine. I, I can just warp back to uh, the part shop and buy stuff for it. Or right. I could I could switch my special weapon to the uh, machine gun. I think that has much more yeah. range. The, the recommended special weapon is the machine buster. Jesus, this thing. It's just, it's just like, oh! <laughs> yeah, you might want to go grab some range parts for sure. Hmm, hmm. Uh oh, I can't, I can't get there in the support car. Yeah, because you're well, in to a. To be fair, boat. you're on a dock. You don't want the. <laughs> you definitely <laughs> roll, don't want the bridge. Roll just crashes through the entire boathouse. It just drives <laughs> off into the lake. It is like I'm oh, here, well, Mega Man. <laughs> once again, the world is destroyed because of Mega Man's idiocy. Good job, Bulma. <laughs> Mega Man walks to City Hall and the, and the grandpa's just like, come on, man, not again. <laughs> like, you killed my granddaughter. Again. <laughs> again. Rapid fire barrel was used to make Buster Part machine gun. Machine gun. So yeah, this is definitely the part you'll want to use for this. Wait, didn't I already have that? Uh, I don't... Remember. All right, not vacuum arm, not the mine. Oh, the mine would not be good for this, yeah. Why? Yeah, I had machine buster. Oh, huh. Oh wait, is it talking about my? I have a buster version of it now. Yeah. <laughs> Mega Man, this is the fifth roll I've made this week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, I could just... Wait, I can... Oh, wait, no, th that that range isn't the problem. It's... <laughs> yeah. So... As well. Yeah, just make sure you you have enough money to grab some range parts. Yeah, I'll I'll have enough. I'm good. And again, if you need to grind, that's okay because we have the vacuum arm now. Um, downtown, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then we can go to the Apple Market. And yeah. The... All right. Uh. We're here. Leave. Damn it, Morty. I've not told you not to screw up the timeline of that universe more than it already is. Oh, yeah. So, the good news is the Mega Man timeline is not that confusing, but there is there are two separate timelines. So, oh, <laughs> they already live in a toilet. True. <laughs> Legend specifically, yeah. True. But, yeah. People do like to, uh... People do get a little bit confused, but the... the Simple answer is classic X zero ZX 
Knights Legends, and then Alternate Universe is Battle Network Star Force, and that's it. Oh, that's not that bad. Yeah, it's not. It's not too bad. It gets a little more complicated if you start. Um... Yeah, like that's useful. The sniper range. Um, it gets a little more complicated if you start adding on like the side games, like Mega Man, the, the Game Boy Mega Man games, the Rock Man World Series, uh, Wily Wars. Like it gets a little more complicated, but it's still pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. Yeah, like the there's a possible timeline split with X5 where that could also lead into Legends, but again, for the most part, it's it's just exactly what I said. That's why when I saw the decoding the Mega Man timeline video from Game Dares, it's like, what is there to decode? It's it's you can you can state the entire thing in two sentences. Come on. <laughs> No, but I need to steal from a Reddit post and then let you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, from from the subreddit I administrate, thanks. <laughs> yeah, right. That's that's what that's the real answer there. Alright, so Boom. The, <laughs> there we there we yeah. go. Yep, you're good. Wait, what does this do? The, the recommended oh. one was laser and sniper range. So if you have that, you're okay. You're good. Yeah, you should be able to defeat to, to defeat um, uh, Barakani now. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it's even more complicated if you factor in the X RPG, right? Because doesn't that happen a hundred years after the X timeline, which already yeah, so the, is the, filled the, by something else? Exactly. The split there is 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 pretty straightforward it's just instead of the zero series it's x command mission and that's it oh so it's it's it, it, after x7 it goes x command mission 100 years later and that's where that timeline ends oh and then the possible timeline split with x5 right right so it's just x5 skips to legends that's it like, it, <laughs> Def it's not definitely doesn't have any other sequel that it could lead to <laughs> Well, yeah, Legends and... Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's not like Kingdom Hearts where there's a ton of crap going on. And, and that's the thing. It's like each individual plot of Mega Man is not complex or hard to understand. So Right. The The hardest it, it gets it to understand is X6. And even then, that's not really the plot. It's just the translation is terrible, so... Yeah, it's just, it's just bad. <laughs> it's just, yeah. No, the story is actually amazing. It's just bad translation. That's the crazy part, because, like, the Mavericks get a ton of backstory, and a lot of the lore around the series gets explained in X6, but because of the translation, you know, it doesn't make too much sense. Oh, yeah, the boat's over there. Yeah. The translators had to hide themselves to repair that script. To repair themselves. And the funny thing is, that line is basically the same in Japanese from what I understand. Like, he, Zero basically says, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I'm glad it's bad in every language. It's, that line is bad in every game, or in every version, <laughs> but... Yeah. I wonder if the localizers were, like, really reading that, and they're like, this is dumb. <laughs> Yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised. So, what is there a specific reason that translation is bad? Like, did they get, like, the D team to work on that one? Like, The issue was that X6 was very heavily rushed because they wanted to uh, <laughs> rush it out after X5. And Inafune didn't even want that game to exist. He wanted X5 to be the very last X game because it would lead yeah. into Zero after that. Yeah. And at, Zero was actually very heavily built around X5 being the last game. So when X6 released, the team at NT Crates had to heavily rework the game in order to make logical sense. Mm. And then, of course, the team kept going with X7 and X8, and Inafune was like, yo, stop. We're trying not to do this, remember? And they kept going anyway. They could have just ignored it, right? Like, that's the big brain play there. <laughs> I mean, they could have ignored 6, 7, and 8, sure, but especially 6 is actually very vital to the plot of the series as a, as a whole, so it wouldn't have made too much sense, sadly. Oh, okay. That's fair. Like, 6 and 8 especially... 7 is 7, but 6 and 8 especially do provide some very important details as to the series in general. 
<laughs> Every script of X6 is yeah, personalized. Yeah. Yep. Where's that on the iceberg? We're at full health, so I would assume so. Well, mostly full. Hmm, well, you are at full health. Alright, there we go. Babu! We're killing them so fast that the dialogue boxes don't even spawn. Oh my god, someone made a crap with Tron Bond's hair. I don't even know what to say about that. Roasted. Roasted. Yes. Absolutely roasted. <laughs> nice! Victory! Get wrecked, Teasel, and Tron and Bond, I guess. Looks delicious, but also why? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Guess who made it? Was that you, Landy? Because that definitely looks like something you would make. Mm. Oh no, he big sweaties. Uh oh. That's a good emote for Chill Zone, actually. Uh, if you want to take a screenshot of it, feel free. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll do that after the fact. Oh, there was another thing we needed to screenshot. I don't remember what Yeah, it was during the other boss fight where he's he just feels bad, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> man. <laughs> it's him. <like> yeah. <laughs> this cutscene goes hard. Feel free to screenshot. I'm going to hang it up on him. Anti NFT. Hang it on Mega Man, <laughs> Capcom just starts selling individual screenshots of Mega Man Legends as NFTs. God. That would that would suck if they started doing that. Although I, I don't see why they would, because I mean, sure it would make them money, but I, my guess is they would they would. Similar to the reason why Nintendo hasn't done it. Mm -hmm. I have a I have a feeling that they would be like, yeah, the pushback from that would be a little too much. Not worth Yeah. It. That's true. Although Square and Sega have mentioned it being a possibility, so That's true, but I, I think especially with, with, with Capcom and Nintendo being a little bit I think I think they're both older than Square and Sega. Oh no, Sega's call. way older than them, trust me. Okay. Yeah, because Sega started out in, like, the 40s, like... Oh, that's true. Well, Nintendo started out in 18, whatever it was. Oh, well, yeah, Nintendo's older. I, I meant for third parties. Oh, I don't care yeah, for yeah, NFTs. Yeah, no one does. If you like NFTs, well, yeah, get out of my fucking chat. So... Yeah, because they destroy the environment. Like, I, I can see the argument for cryptocurrency specifically, because that's, like, a an alternate form of currency, but NFTs are garbage. Yeah. Complete unregulated right, against, garbage. If you're against cryptocurrency, that's fair. When, when, uh, when I do, I'm attacking the fact... Oh, the same image. Yeah, right. Yeah. A no, singular I mean, PNG against, of uh, Sonic shoe for a thousand dollars? I know, right? No, but like, if you're against crypto, that's fair. This, this, this is just my personal take on it. Right. No, no, no. Crypto, I don't really care about. Whatever. But, like, yeah. uh, NFTs are... That's bad yeah. news, Bears. Get out of my fucking chat. I'll ban you if you say you like them. So. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. I completely agree. NFTs are garbage. <laughs> Yeah, I was about to say, I, I mentioned this earlier, but Landy's profile on Discord is the NFT monkey with Data's face photoshopped on it. That is hilarious. Oh, and Mr. Bones, yes, I have a Discord. It's mostly just me and my friends. Uh, if you would like to join, uh, 112 is free to invite you. I don't mind. Yeah, I'll, I'll invite you if you want that. Just DM me after this. <laughs> All right, so are we going to stop here or are we going to do this update? Yep. Yeah, I just, I, okay. I just saved. Uh, well, here, hang on. I, yep. Okay. Talk to the monkey. They, I want to make sure I saved. Oh, yeah, Landy, too. Yeah, of course. <clears throat> All right, so, yeah, next time on 
Mega Man Legends, the next objective is the Lake June subgame, the second of four. Yo, let's go. Wow. Or That's technically pretty... second of three subgates. The last thing is the main gate, but you get the point. The second of four dungeons. Right. So, all right. We're 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 good then. Uh, thank you for watching, everyone, and thank you, 112, for, for joining me. Uh, as usual, uh, who knows when we'll do another part, right? <laughs> like maybe yep. it'll be in another two months from now. <laughs> the good news but, is we're, we're about halfway through, so if we do two more, that should theoretically get us to the end. Either two more or three more, because we we're pretty much exactly at the halfway point. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, thank you for watching, everyone. Have a good night. Yep, take care, everyone.